Welcome back to Tainslade Info. Even though the Kaveri engine with afterburner is not getting much attention and failed to meet the required parameters to power a fighter, the non-afterburning version of the Kaveri engine, which is also known as dry Kaveri engine, is getting all required focus. What actually is a dry Kaveri engine? According to different sources, the dry Kaveri engine is a modified non-afterburning version of the two-spool low bypass ratio Kaveri turbofan engine which are manufactured by the gas turbine research establishment. What is the purpose of coming up with the dry Kaveri engine? The main purpose of coming up with the Kaveri dry engine is to power India's first stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicle which is the Gathak. Not only for the Gathak, these engines would also be used to power India's futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft. What is the current status of Kaveri dry engine? As per the latest update, the dry Kaveri engine has finished simulated altitude test at 43,000 feet and it has managed to generate 48.5 kN thrust, which is much more than the benchmark target set. The benchmark target which was set for the dry Kaveri engine was 46 kN thrust. The high altitude test was performed at Russia's Central Institute of Aviation Motors, where the dry Kaveri engine was simulated at an altitude of 43,000 feet approximately to complete the high altitude chamber test. Two dry Kaveri engines were used to demonstrate 75 hours of altitude testing at the CIAM of Russia, and as mentioned before, these engines generated nearly 48 kN thrust, which is indeed a good output for the engine. Godrej Aerospace has been awarded a contract to manufacture six dry Kaveri engines which would be used for further endurance tests in order to accumulate long-running hours along with simulated crosswind conditions. And this is to check the turbulence on fan blades from idle to full thrust. These tests are very crucial for the engine to prove since this would decide on proceeding with further automatic control system refinement. These six engines manufactured by Godrej Aerospace will help the GTRE to identify engine components that are highly prone to degradation based on the thermal cycling of the engine. It is also said that LCA Tejas will be used to check and study the engine running impact on the aircraft airframe. Not only that, LCA Tejas will also be used to check the durability and vibration resistant testing of these engines. As LCA Tejas is a single-engine aircraft, it can't be used as a flying test bed for these dry Kaveri engines as the risk is too high to be tested with a single engine. Again, India would be approaching Russia for testing the prototype engine on Ilyusin IL-76 test bed and this would be done post-completion of the benchmark test successfully. So that was a video to provide vital information about the dry Kaveri engine status and how the progress is going with the same. We also saw details on how LCA Tejas is going to help the evolution of these dry Kaveri engines. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.